Welcome back, my loyal Canadian subjects. Your leader, Wilfred Laurier, the superb of Canada, has returned. And it's time that we continue our Civilization VI playthrough in the Gathering Storm DLC with the Canadian Empire, baby! It's turn to 10, year 1490 AD, and the Canadian Empire continues to grow. Pretty sure we're in first in all major categories. Uh, Persia no longer exists, only in our memory in the city of Passar Gay Day. The, um, the citizens rebelled, killing their leader, and the Canadian people moved in. So we're going to repair this city of Passar Gay Day, um, officially annex the people into the Canadian Empire. And, uh, I mean, that's a capital city right there. Along with their second city of Hagmatana that we also took over. So, I mean, that used to be Persia. And now we share a border with the Hungarian Empire, who are in second or third place. There's realistically four civilizations that are that are in this game. Now, things can change. Um, especially with tech. Other people can catch up. And culture. But uh, as of right now, if I go to the score screen, right? Scientific victory. The Canadian people in first, making 110 science per turn at 34 techs. Uh, Hungary, right there behind us. 92 science per turn at 33 tech. The Ottoman Empire that just took out the, the Nubian capital, uh, capital of Moroi. So they're growing. They have this whole eastern side of the continent to themselves. Uh, they're at a science output of 79, but they're also at 33. They build a few... Um, What's it called? Campuses with libraries? They'll catch up to us, no problem. And then the Scottish Empire, Robert de Bruce. Science per turn, 74, but also text researched at 33. After that, it uh, drops off a little bit, 45 down to 33. These other civs are struggling. But like I said, you got the, the Ottomans over here in the east. You got the Canadians and the Hungarians in the center. The north and the south. And then over here, the Scots. We don't have their lands fully uncovered, so we still need to get that navy out there. But science is good. Culture, uh, we are in second. I don't know why we're behind Christina right now. We're making 91 culture per turn, which is better than everyone except for China. Who's back there? Oh, no, we're better than China. They're at 79, but they're not making any tourism per turn. Um, domination victory, we're in first. Our army, military strength, 921. It's because we have that second capital city. Uh, yeah, but our, our standing military is, is great right now. Second place is the Ottoman Empire, and I, I see us going to war against the Ottomans to liberate the Nubian capital. Uh, religion we're not worrying about, and the diplomatic victory we're not worrying about that right now either. Oh, as the Canadian anthem plays. Beautiful. Alright, so, uh, we're friendly with everyone, and what we're doing currently is we're trying to improve the infrastructure of our empire. It's a lot of things that can happen in this video. Steam power, four turns away. We are going to get that railroad uncovered. And the second that we get a railroad connecting all of our cities, forget about it. Our military will be able to, to move around um, with ease, being able to react to any threat, north, south, east, or west. Urbanization, which will allow us to get the neighborhood so that we can help out the housing. And once we finish urbanization, next up, colonialism, which will give us the ice hockey rink. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the NHL to be born on this planet. So, urbanization, colonization, uh, colonialism, all right, and uh, steam power, all coming in this video. Now, we also... Yeah, we have some military engineers on the way. We already have one coming in three turns. This guy's already been out here. Uh, he's trying to get to Boktree because we're going to build the uh, railroad starting from Boktree. It's going to take a while to get built, but uh, it's only 1490 AD. Other than that, we're just uh, building up some musket men, some districts. We got our new city of Vancouver building up the harbor. Uh, armory right there, so we're probably trying to get some more military engineers. Uh, market for some more trade routes, and then just repairing past our gay day in Hagmatana. All right. Now, we do have another government that we can use. I think I'm going to keep everything the same. Unit maintenance reduced by one gold per turn. That works out for us. We're making a lot of gold, and we have a big military. Uh, four plus gold and one plus faith from all trade routes. Four times five. That's 20 gold per turn extra. 100% uh, campus district adjacency bonus. Uh, we're ahead in science, and we want to keep it that way, so I'm staying, I'm staying with that. Uh, charismatic leader, 2 plus influence points per turn towards earning city-state envoys. I want that. 1 plus gold from each envoy. I definitely want that because we got a lot of envoys out there. However, 
This one that we have in the wildcard policy, the first envoy you send to each city-state counts as two. Uh, we've already sent one envoy to all the city-states. There may still be one or two more over here in the west, but I don't need to worry about that one anymore. So I think I can get rid of uh, Diplomatic League. Craftsman, 100% industrial zone adjacency bonus. We want that. And also, I'm still creating Musketmen, so 50% production towards Industrial Era and earlier melee, anti-cavalry, and range units. That falls into that. So we just want to get rid of this one right now. Um, what could we bring back? Hmm. I could get extra science and culture. Uh, extra science from buildings and campuses. I could do that. Wonders. I can get extra gold. You know what I think I want to do? Because I do see us going to war against the, um, the Ottomans here. We have to liberate that city. And by the time we get over there, I don't know what kind of city-states they're going to have on their side. I think uh, a great general wouldn't be a bad idea here. Uh, Rani Lakshmabiai is coming in... I mean, we're making 14 great general points per turn. It's going to take a while. So if I just take care of this for right now to help out... Um, Get that great general and then switch it back. That might not be a bad idea. So, two plus great general points per turn. Yeah, let's move that down there. Strategos. Confirm policy. Boom. Alright, so that'll help us make a little bit more. 16 points per turn. And I can also just use the patronage to spend some faith. But uh, it's nice actually having some faith per turn. And actually, what I want to do is go through each city uh, and see what I could purchase with some faith. Because some of these cities do have... Like Missionary Apostle, Guru, no, I don't want any of them. It's nice that I can purchase uh, military units, but there you go. Hagmatana has a Gurdwara that I want to build with Faith. There you go. Anything else that we can build with Faith? Nope. Uh, Victoria, hang on a second. There you go, nothing but military, nothing but military, military. And yeah, I guess you need to have a... Uh, a, uh, a holy site to be able... Yeah, Gurdwara over there. What do I need to build? A temple building? Alright, so we gotta build a temple in Tarsus to be able to get that Gurdwara. Alright, good. So we still have 1676 in faith. Ah, uh, steam power. Yeah, we are good, ladies and gents. Oh, yeah, and I still have this uh, great engineer, which is gonna be coming up here to get the Venetian arsenal done once Montreal's done its uh, thing. Alright, so all these guys in Passar Gaiti are going to heal up. Our musketmen are on the way. Let's go next turn. Yeah, there you go. We got like five musketmen that are headed over here to Boktri. Uh Alliance. Alright, so the Super Swedes would like a research alliance. Essentially what I think that is, is um, the more trade routes that you send to Sweden, I think it'll give you extra science per turn. So sure, I'll accept that. That is a fair exchange. Sweden is still at war with like four different civs. Uh, Scotland, Russia... Uh, Hungary, I don't know if they're at war with uh, China, so <laughs> good luck over there, Sweden. Uh, but yeah, we are allies. I mean, we're friends with everyone. We're friendly with the Manator, uh, the Maori Empire. Now we're allies with Sweden. Yeah, they are losing. This encampment right now is taking some damage. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on that 35 out of 100. Russia might be attacking Sweden right now. I already liberated Goatberg. I don't want to have to help you out again. Halifax needs more amenities. Yeah. Amenities, that just means that we've hit the uh, the limit. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, I can get another trade route. Good, what got complete? Another trade route coming when that market gets done. Where did we finish the market? Tarsus? Was it Tarsus that just got the market done? Yeah, it was. Alright, so Tarsus just completed the market, so that's an extra trader. Uh, medieval walls, just in case. Now nah, we should be good. You know what? Now that we got that market done, just get the trader done so I can... Uh, Get max trade routes. Fortify yourself. Fortify yourself. Fortify yourself. Just for right now, I want to get you guys all healed up. Fortify yourself. Uh, what is this? Spy? Yeah, you want to go to Ottawa, and you want to go counter-spy in the capital. Uh, you, builder. Yeah, we want to continue to grow the new city of Vancouver. So get in there. And get those tiles. I mean, we don't have a lot to work with here over in Vancouver, so I want to improve these tiles. But he's got two food tiles right there. And uh, I can always purchase a granary and monument. Our gold per turn is nice. I'm just, I'm spending a lot every turn. I can use a few to save up here. Uh, you. Alright, might as well upgrade you to... Let's go battle cry. There you go, it's musketman after all. They already have a pretty good defense against uh, crossbowmen. Alright. So I think we're good. Let's go next turn. 
Hey, you can see all of our military units moving on over. Get ready, Sullivan. We are on our way. Uh, China has cleared land in Beijing for the Casa de Concentration. So China's building the, uh, the that wonder. Uh, religious alliance. All right, sure. I'll accept that. How gracious of you. Whatever my, uh, my, whatever my uh, teammates want. Will you allow us to establish an embassy in your capital? Your embassy is a welcome addition to our capital. Maori? Friends are always welcome in the Canadian Empire. The Maori? The Maori's got some good cities. They just have nowhere to expand. Next. They gotta find, like, an island or another uh, new land out there in the ocean. But it's the Pangea map type. So they're kind of... They're kind of stuck. They got four knights. What are they doing over here with these four knights? Uh, keep an eye on those suckers. Hang on a second. If I go back to you... Uh, you at war with anyone? They've denounced the, uh, the Ottoman Empire, and they've denounced the Hungarian Empire, so... Yeah, oh man, are they going to war against the Ottomans? I don't know, keep an eye on the Maori Empire, boys. Uh, Hagia Sophia has been built by Coupe. Good job, Coupe. Uh, hang on a sec. Let's see if we can find the Hagia Sophia anywhere. Uh, is that it? No, that's the Ruhr Valley, isn't it? Oh, uh, no, that's the Manich Temple. Uh, Hagia Sophie. Man, he's got a lot of little wonders in this, doesn't he? Is that it? Yeah, he's got a lot of wonders. Yeah, there it is, Hagia Sophia. He's got the the Min Minakshi Temple, the pyramids. Uh, that just looks like, yeah, that's a holy site. That's a wonder right there. The Hagia Sophia, that's a wonder right there. The Kilwa Kiswani. Uh... Jeez, wonder building of the Maori. I guess why not, right? A cat, a category four hurricane named uh, Amin has developed and headed to the west. The storm will cause destruction over the next two turns. Uh oh, <laughs> it's gonna hit the land soon. Good thing I'm protected. Uh, all right, so choose production. We got the shipyard done. Next up, we want to get this Venetian arsenal. Yeah, we want to get it done on this tile. All right, boom, Venetian arsenal, which will allow us to get that navy out there. That's the next thing. We can have that navy, you know. There's not, it's going to be real useful against the Ottomans as well, because we can harass any um, any city that's along the coast, like Istanbul. We won't be able to get to it, but we can bombard it. If we have a front, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think you can bombard from that tile. These don't look like hills. Yeah, I think you can bombard uh, Istanbul, which is nice. But still, just having a navy, we have the money, so why not? Uh, you build that mine. All right, you. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much done over here now. All right, so we got some pretty good tiles that we're working. We got some food. We got some production. We got two extra food there. So, Vancouver. It's uh, it's just a city that will allow me to purchase um, naval units when I need to. Let's, let's can I purchase a? Yeah, I can purchase a frigate for uh, one thousand. All right, it's a little bit expensive, but we got the money. And uh, once the naval units are out there, they're going to be pretty powerful to be able to stay alive. Dun, 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 dun. Fortify. All right, so that's all my main army right now. I'm just going to leave them there and pass our gay day. Just because the biggest threat right now is either uh, the Hungarian Empire or the Swedish Empire. I don't think the Swedes are going to do anything to us because we are allied with them. Um, and also we're Canada, so can't declare a surprise war. They're going to have to denounce me first. But still, just having these guys until that railroad is done is uh, where I want them. Next turn. Two more turns for steam power. Three more for urbanization. Uh, no, I'm going to refuse that deal. I don't want to give you any iron. Please accept my people's finest tweeds and haggis. Oh, and uh, heart to the pipers. Are they not grand? Your delegation is most welcome. Thank you very much, Robert De Bruce. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not giving anyone any iron resources. I'm keeping the trades within the Canadian Empire. All right, so the Maori Knights, I don't know, they might just be exploring right now. Or you know what? The, what the Maori could do if they wanted to take some land, go after all these city-states, like claim that land. Although that wouldn't put them in good favor with the world. Especially me, I can't allow that to happen. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of military units for city-states down here, man. And I don't have them all under my control. Uh, oh, here we go. Special session? Special session. This could be Moroi. This could be war right here against the Ottomans. This may, might be the chance for us to do it. Oh, the cate category. Is it a four? Category four hurricane. Oh, get out of its way, you fools. It's about to hit Chahokia. Uh, Nobody was hurt. One tile was damaged. All right, so a fishing tile, it looks like. Uh, Quebec City needs more amenities. Housing. 
Uh, I can get more trade routes. All right, let's see. What's the special session? What's the end of this turn? All right. Damn, the hurricane looks cool. Wouldn't want to be in the middle of that. Oh, well, if you had to be somewhere, you'd be in the middle of it. The eye. But then you can't escape. Um, all right, so we got a military engineer. Good. I want more. I want more. Three more turns. Get her done. Get her done. Where's this military engineer? Got one more turn. Now, we already have our coal. Yes, we do. We're making nine coal per turn. So, uh, immediately, I can start constructing the, um, the railroad. All right, so you, I'll send you up to Calgary now, all right? We'll connect it that way, and the third guy will start in the middle, and I'll just get to work. Uh, you, musket men. Yeah, I want you... Uh, stay here for now. I want to make sure Parsa doesn't, or the uh, Hungarians don't do anything shifty. Tarsus, get back to Ottawa. I want all my trade routes going through Ottawa, because we have our, our spies in the commercial hub. That'll stop anyone from trying to siphon funds from us. We don't need that happening. All right. And here come the musketmen, ladies and gents. They've arrived in the west. Uh, or in the east. My bad. I just messed that up. It's so dumb, too. There you go. Yeah, I'm not going to have them on uh, manually moving anymore. It looks like they're trying to go up and around because people are in their way. All right. But like, look, like I said, once I get railroads done, I'll be able to move somebody from Toronto to, to Bokhtri in like one turn or two turns. Oh, it's so great, man. Getting to that point of the game where you can really just flex. Uh, you... Alright, looks like we're done over here then. So let's move you guys back and get you back into the Empire. Uh, Alright, so the Venetian Arsenal. Let's get her done. Wonder Construction. Oh yeah, I don't want to take my time with this. This is a good wonder I want done. Uh, Halifax. Alright, so we got the Musketmen done in Halifax. Uh, I really don't want to build anything else right now. I want a military, yeah. Because we also, we also just got nationalism, I believe. Where is nationalism? Yeah, nationalism, which will allow us to combine two military units. So all the musketmen that I'm pumping out, I'm going to be combining over here. So yeah, just keep pumping them out. Musketmen, there you go. We're making plenty of niter per turn as well, so let's use it. Uh, trader, alright, so we got all of our traders. So let's get another trader done. There you go, because we got the market done in Calgary. Alright, Calgary's kind of all by himself out here. So, let's get that encampment done, just in case. Uh, the attack would come from... You know what? I don't think, actually, Calgary is in any risk. Because, yeah, the Swedes aren't going to attack us. And th these mountain ranges make it almost impossible. Like, you can't get through up there. Well, when they can embark, they can. But still, that's a pain in the arse. Uh, you can... Yeah, you can get through here. Yeah, I think we're okay, though. Um, what are we? Amenities... No, we could use some amenities over here. Uh, yeah, I could use some amenities. Entertainment complex. Uh, we might as well... Let's put him in the... Uh, oh, no. The aqueduct could go there. Let's put him in the, uh, the tundra. All right, there you go. You guys can travel north to have some fun in the circus. Uh, Hagmatana. All right, so another musketman. Ah, uh, you know what, Hagmatana? Get that armory done for me so I can get more uh, military engineers out. Pass our gay day. I just want to repair everything. Uh, musketman. Yeah, we will be moving. Take your time. Ooh, I like this music. Do, 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 do. We're advancing in the eras. Musicians are, are getting their hands on better tech. And look what they're creating. Oh, Beethoven. All right, uh, you. Down here. Oh, you guys are going to love it once you see railroads, man. It's so satisfying. All right, builder. Let's keep... Oh, 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 That was not repaired. I got to go back there. Next turn. Do, 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 do. Adrian learned that Russia adopted the economic policy triangular trade. All right, here we go. This might be war. This might be war. Yep, yep. There it is. Oh, my goodness gracious. Now... It's a little bit earlier than I wanted. I could always just vote no and then denounce him and declare war anyways. I don't think any of the world would be angry at me for doing that because once I liberate their capital, everyone would understand that I don't think I'd have any grievances. But this is too much to pass up because you get extra bonuses simply by fighting the, uh, the Suleimans this way. Um, during this emergency, target units have combat strength when fighting member units, so he's going to be weaker against me. Um, I also can gain 1 plus movement in the target's territory, so moving around in the Ottomans' lands is easier. And the target gains 20 plus loyalty per turn in the target city, so trying to flip that city is not going to happen. 
All members will have peace, open borders, and shared visibility with each other. So anyone helping me, I can take a look at their lands. Oh my god, the music's kicking in faster. It's making me want to talk faster. And members gain 5 plus healing in targets, uh, territory. Oh, members gain 100, uh, diplomatic favor. That must have been the Russian music, right? It's going crazy there towards the end. Alright, so it's all about diplomatic favor. And also, if I, uh, take the city, then, uh, just going to war with, uh, the rest of the Ottoman Empire. I'll have 2 plus combat strength when attacking a member with a unit city strike, alright? So, yeah, let's vote for, uh, let's vote for this. Uh, I just want to make sure that no one, uh, let's see, 236, yeah, not a lot of people have diplomatic favor right now, I just want to make sure that this goes through, uh, yeah, 500, is it, no, no, let's go a little bit, let's go up to 280, yeah, 8, there you go, 280, that should get it done, alright, so 8 voting yes, come on, baby! It's war! Alright, so only one more person voted with me? Science what the hell? The steam engine. Then the steam engine owes to science. Lawrence Henderson. Alright, so steam power is unlocked. Uh, it's only us and a Manator that have decided to go to war with the Ottoman Empire. There it is, ladies and gents. We are at war. Oh my god, they have bombards. Oh my, they have knights. Oh my god. This is going to be rough. They're going after the city of Kerma. Now, city-states. Are we at war with any city-states? Suleiman. Caesarian, Caesarian, Caesarian. Robert of Bruce. Coupe. Me. Christina. Caesarian, Caesarian. Good. So, as of right now, the Ottoman Empire are in control of zero city-states. Alright? So, we won't have to worry about Valletta, Bologna, Preslav, Chahokia, Jerusalem attacking us. Yet. Now, Muscomen. Back off. Alright? Those knights can really screw you over in that open territory. So just back off. We're moving up. Uh, Alright, so here we go, ladies and gents. First one we can do. Military engineer. Build the railroad. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so we got the railroad started. Um, we have to get it done on all of these tiles, but uh, it's, it's come around right at the right time. Alright, now we can start building it and get over there uh, to, the, uh, to the Ottomans. Uh, I'm no longer the Caesarian of the Chahokia city-state. Who is? None. So no one. So say goodbye to the Chahokia mounds. Uh, I still keep the ones that I've already built, but I can't build any new ones. The category for Hurricane named uh, Amin is now weaker. Made his final move across the map. All right, so it did not uh, actually hit land. All right, so that's good. Bologna has the declared war on uh, the Ottomans. All right, good. So Bologna is our uh, city-state. And they are on the border of the Ottomans. So that should just be like a thorn in the side for the Ottomans right now. Alright, that's good. Uh, Wilfred Laurie has declared war. And Suleiman has been targeted by an emergency. Alright, so I want to keep on moving guys down. Uh, give me a second though, i got to blow my nose. Alright, that's better. So let's continue here. We, uh, we have the emergency. I just want to make sure that I'm moving my guys. Yeah, because if they go into auto move now and they're blocked, they may decide to go on another route. And I don't need that happening. So all the musketmen that we're sending down here. Um, you, you know what? You might as well. Nah, just get up here. Yeah, yeah. It, we're not going to get the, the railroad done in time to start getting these guys over. They'll, they'll get there eventually. This guy... And uh, this guy will be the ones to help out. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, you I haven't moved just yet, so you're going to move up as well. Who's next? We got a trader. Uh, let's send it to... I could send it to City State, but there's no uh, quest right now to send a trade route. I could send it to... Yeah, you know what? Let's send it to Sweden and take advantage of that uh, scientific... Uh, alliance that we have going. Yonkaping. Alright, go to Yonkaping. Give me a nice little road going there as well. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Begin route. There you go. Losing myself there for a second. Uh, Alright, so our military, not our military engineer, just our uh, our great person, our great engineer. Yeah, great engineer. Man, I really lost myself there. Great engineer. Bang. Alright, so five more turns for the Venetian arsenal. That's a good wonder to have. Uh, you're gonna back out. You're going to back out. Those two volcanoes are active right now, so all these tiles. I gotta get those workers through before they blow up. Uh, and also, what I want to do is I want to start mobilizing my, um, my horsemen. Alright, I can get over there. Because with the railroad and the horsemen, ooh man, can they move fast. So 
so we might as well get these guys mobile right now. There we go. Get your ass up there. All right, now the musketmen as well. You guys are going to be here to help out. Let me just put my crossbowmen in the city, though, to defend. Uh, another crossbowman. There you go. You're going to get down there and defend. Crossbowman, you're going to go over there into that and defend. And other than that, we are good. Yeah, so you're going to yeah, we're gonna get back on the road here. Start heading over. Uh, repair that pasture. All right, so I do need something of a military over here. But, uh, like I said, they have to denounce me first before they can declare war. And the way Hagmatana is said, I mean, this is this is going to be a tough nut to crack. If Hungary decides to declare war, Hagmatana is the city they go for first. It's just the way it is. They're not going to try to go across the water to pass our gay day. They're not going to try to go across the water to Quebec City. I could, maybe they go for Tarsus, but I just... I, Hagmatana in proximity is the closest. Uh, it's got the borders of two different cities on it. Um, and the reason to be a tough nut to crack is we're going to have the crossbowmen in it. It's got medieval walls, does it? It's got something. Let's see, are those medieval walls? Those might be medieval walls. And let's see, does it say? Yeah, medieval walls. It is medieval walls. Um, there's a river on their side. So to attack the city, they got to cross the river. And on the right flank, there are two encampments that are just ready to bombard. I mean, this encampment can hit this tile, this tile, this tile, this tile. This one can hit up to these two tiles. So... You try to take this one out, and all of a sudden this one's hitting you. You try to take this one out, and all of a sudden this city starts to hit you. It's it's a blockade right there. So as long as I have a few uh, crossbowmen and, like I said, coursers that can run back, we'll be okay. So steam power is done. Now uh, we're starting to get uh, to the best of the rest. I would like to go after chemistry, because that would give us the mountain tunnel. And considering we have all these mountains over here, it'd be nice to get another, uh, like, an outlet to the uh, to the east. But, we should probably go back and pick up some of these basic ones, yeah. Like, like banking for some more money. Renaissance walls, that would be nice. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for ballistics. Because, no, 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 that's heavy cavalry. What's the light cavalry? There you go. I'm going to go for military science. Our coursers will upgrade into light cavalry, and I don't even need niter for it. All I need is horses, and I got plenty of them. So let's go for military science to improve our military even further. It'll pick up the Renaissance walls, which we can use to uh, build up our defense. All right, we got an armory done in Victoria, so you know what that means. Military engineer. You're going to stay put. You're going to stay put. I think we're good. Military engineer in two turns. I'm starting to save up that gold. Uh, so if I'm saving up that gold, I'm going to just purchase that tile. It's the last tile that we're going to do here in Vancouver. All right. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go next turn. Let's see what happens over here. Oh, there we go. We got a... Uh, well, actually, I can repair that tile. There you go. See? Passar Gay Day is coming back up. I told you, citizens of Passar Gay Day. I'll annex you in. And you'll be good. Is this still at 35%? 35? What was the damage at? 35. So I think they've stopped fighting. And same thing with this one at 57. I don't know if Russia is still attacking. Are they still at war with everyone? Still at war with Russia. Still at war with Hungary. But only at war with two people now. All right. It's getting better. What the heck happened to Shanghai? What? Do they get hit with uh, maybe barbarians attacking them? I don't know. I don't know why the city strength would be low. They're not at war with anyone. All right. Next turn. As you have the Hungarian Ironclad unit. That's going to be a strong unit. Got to watch out for that. Uh, Chihokia has declared war on Suleiman. All right. Did Chihokia join our... Um, is it our city-state again? Why did it become our city-state? I didn't do anything. <laughs> it just wanted to join us? It's definitely visible again. Like, uh, the, uh... The thing is visible. Yeah, they're moving around. Alright, hang on. I don't want to touch the screen. It'll, it'll bring me to something that's happening. There's the Jehokia military. Mobilizing. Going towards the Ottomans. <laughs> Press lap as well. See, I gotta get all these guys. If I could send all this military towards the Ottomans. And just have, like, the city state attacking them. Ooh, that'd be a lot of damage. Bologna as well. See, Bologna's sending a courser into their... Well, that's, like that's good, man. Cities is that everything is king size. The beauty and the ugliness. Joseph Brodsky. All right, urbanization. We got public transport. Uh, receive 100 gold per uh, appeal of tile when replacing a farm with a neighborhood district. Oh, that's cool. Uh, military academy, seaports, and renaissance walls. Generate 2 plus science. Not bad. And 50% uh, gold and resource discount on all unit upgrades. Real good. Force modernization. 
But the real reason we went for urbanization is the neighborhood. So any city that's having problems with housing, we can uh, we can now fix that. And next up, ladies and gents, next up, the NHL. Colonialism. Let's go. Uh, Chihokia has declared, yeah, so why did Chihokia once again join me? Envoy said, Cesarean me. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. I don't know why they left me in the first place. Uh, Magnus is now established in Ottawa. Good. And Liang is established in uh, in Vancouver. Good. What was that fishery one again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it, hang on a second. I remember that. Governors. Was it her? Can construct a fishery improvement. Right. How do I construct that? Fishery improvement. Do I build it on this tile? Like, I, okay. This guy's got one build left. Let me just go down here. How do you how do you build a fishery? Where do you build it? Fishery. Uh pillage. Technology placement. Coast and lake. So it's gotta be on the coast. Oh, okay. Let me go over here with him then. I'll send this guy up here. So you can just create like some fish? I wanna do that in Vancouver. Hang on a sec. Alright. Uh alright, so here's where it gets fun. Alright, so military engineer. You next right here and get that railroad done, all right? So you can see the railroad, ladies and gents. It's starting to get done. So this guy, I mean, he can move so far now. All right, so right out there. This guy, again, will get a little bit of a boost, but still he had to move a few. See this guy now? Only the road, so he's not going to go too far. The railroad, you guys are going to love the railroad. And I might even just put the uh, logistics um, government policy on, which gives you one plus movement when starting in friendly territory. That with uh, the railroad, oh my god. Do, 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 do. Uh, musket men? Yeah, I want more. More. Pump them out. Pump out the musket men. Uh, we got a trader done in Tarsis. Uh, can't build any more musket men, so you know what? Let's get some coursers done. That way we can uh, turn these coursers into big time units. Uh, pass our gay day. Alright, so pass our gay day. Let's get a ancient wall. We already did the encampment ancient walls. Yeah, we need to protect ourselves. Uh, musket men. Stay put. You're good. Uh, you're gonna get over there. Alright, so at least Kermat does have some units that they can defend themselves. And I don't know what's happened with this encampment. Maybe it was that that they destroyed when they took the city. Uh, stay put. Stay put. Stay put. Stay put. Stay put. Uh, you, you are going to go to our capital of Ottawa. Uh, you musket men. Yeah, you're gonna go over here. I know it's gonna take your, uh, it's gonna take some time, but you'll get there. Uh, I don't really need to send my coursers in there just yet. So the, what the coursers are going to do is they're just going to stay in the middle of the empire. All right, on the road. All five of my coursers are right here. So they can move to the west, they can move to the east, north, and south. Um, I want to wait until I give them the upgrade. Uh, get them all secondary units and turn them into cavalry. If I think if I send them over there... Like, their night units and bombards. Like, these units are one era ahead of my coursers now. My coursers are a little bit... Far. Like, I got musketmen now. Guns are starting to take over the battlefield, essentially. So, we gotta get the, 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 the guys on horseback to get some guns also. Alright, so, Builder. Get your ass over here. And we got the Chahokia Mounds back, baby. Over here. Chahokia Mounds. Yeah! See, past our gay day, you chose right. Look how beautiful your city looks now. Uh, unit. Alright, so... We don't need to defend any of these tiles, so let's get up to Victoria. Stay on the road. Alright, you in Hagmatana, and you right there. So there you go. Hagmatana, pass our gay day. Um, and Quebec City, these things are, are, are rocks, alright? No one is taking this city. 62 strength, a bombard, uh, encampment, encampment, bombard, bombard. And then five coursers all at two upgrades just waiting right behind. So anyone who crosses the river to try to surround my city, well bam well bam well bam well bam It's great. Uh, Alright, so I think we're good. Just keep an eye on these goofballs over here. Uh, where's our other military engineer? Yeah, just get up here to Calgary. Yeah, we're not quite there with our railroad. I was hoping that... Uh, Take a little bit longer before I uh, go to war against the Ottomans, but that's okay. Fact is, once I send my army over there, I'll be able to get them back, no problem. Uh, five turns for colonialism. Yeah, we're good. I'm just doing some thinking in my head. <laughs> it doesn't work out for commentaries, though. I gotta think <laughs> out loud. 
All right, so Jerusalem, Jehokia, Presla. I don't think Presla. No, Presla is not my city state. Valletta is not my city state. I'd see more of them. Bologna is, Jehokia is, and Jerusalem is. So yeah, I mean we're definitely defended. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way the Ottomans are going to attack us. And I'm pretty sure if, if if I'm the computer and I'm at war. Oh, catastrophic! Oh no, catastrophic eruption! I got those workers out of there just in time. Ah! People living near the volcano flee as lava and ash blankets the surrounding land. Oh, God. Get out of there, ladies and gents. All right. Well, good news and bad news. Bad news is that it blew up our nitre resource. Good news is look what it did to these two tiles. All right. These used to be in the, uh, in the snow, but now they've been fertilized because of the hot lava flow. So Vancouver's got some more tiles it can work with. All right, oh man, imagine I had my two builders right there. They'd have been done. They would have been done. I saved their lives. All right, you right there. How come I can't get the fishery done? Am I not? I'm on the coast. Wait a minute. I've never built this fishery ever in this game. Placement, coast and lake. Oh, coast and lake? So it's got to be like, a, like, like, it's got to be like that. Lake, coast. No, that's just lake. Lake and coast. That, that that That's a coast. Yeah, there's no coast in the lake. Yeah, that's a coast. What the heck? Maybe you guys can let me know in the uh, the comments. I've never built the fishery before. It was just a, an idea that I wanted to try. Uh, all right, let me just read it. A governing unique improvement that can be built in a city. Can be built in... Can be built in a city? It's adjacent to a sea resource. Must be built on a coastal plot. Yeah. That is a coastal plot. Huh. I'm so confused. I gotta put it right there with the other... Fi <laughs> I, I'm trying to read what the game is saying. I don't know what's going on. Alright, so you just improved that tile. I don't want to take too long with it, though. Alright, so you. Move out there. Alright, so we got our blockade. Yeah, I don't know, man. They're doing something with these guys. We got our blockade, though. Uh, you, military engineer. There it is. The railroad completes itself even further. All right. You get your ass over there. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this now. This is great, isn't it? Look how far they can move. Yes. Go. Oh, you can only get... What the? What? Can you not go through there? All right. So you don't really need this crossbowman right now. He's kind of getting in the way just because that is an extra tile. So I'm just going to move that crossbowman right there for now. Yeah, there you go. Because that crossbowman is in the way. He's, like, taking away the uh, the railroad tile. There you go. You can see the difference between the movement from these guys to the guys who are moving under the railroad. All right, sweet. All right, so we have uh, another military engineer done. So I'm going to start the railroad right there in Quebec City. Uh, Quebec. I could probably do one more military engineer. There you go. Yeah, two more are coming. Three and three. That'll be perfect. I got a lot of cities. I want it done. Uh, that'll probably spark the other volcano. I mean, with, it, with if that volcano's going, that volcano's got to go, right? I'm no, uh, geologist. Maybe, you know, that's probably not even the right term. I'll shut up. Um, production, Ottawa. All right, so we got the industrial zone done in Ottawa. Uh, we wanted, yes, housing. We have the amenities. It's time for that. Well, actually, a market. Let me get that market done. It's only going to be two turns. That's an extra trade route. Trade route is money, and money right now for us is, uh, is a lot. Uh, yeah, we're good. Now you guys are going to stay put. Uh, we got the encampment done in Boxtree. Good. So let's get the walls done. Oh, we already have walls done. Uh, oh, uh, we need amenities. We can't really build anything else. I don't want to build musketmen anymore. I think we're good for musketmen. I think we got enough now. Uh, give me a courser. Yeah, I want a courser out there. We definitely have enough musketmen. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be linking these musketmen together once they get over there. Um, Ottawa. All right, so we're going to send him to... Let's go to Kerma. All right, so we can get that trade route just to help us out. I'm not going to be able to build a railroad going this way. i got to connect it to... Si well, actually, I don't know. Can you build a railroad outside of your borders? I don't know if you can. I know you can get a road going, so let's just do that. In case we need to go to Kerma. Uh, you, you're going to fortify yourself. Uh, you, Builder, uh, let's get over here and just get all these tiles done. Hang on one second, boys. Alright, we're back. Congestion again. Alright, so what was I doing? Moving these guys over. All the muskemen still. 
Uh, next turn. Think we're good. Want to get that, uh... That uh, hockey rink going, I'll probably need a builder for that, but I could always purchase it. Right. Oh, the fishery. I want to figure out what the hell I was doing with the fishery. It said coast. That's the coast. It says coast right there. Why don't I have it? Oh. That's why. I had a harbor right there. Whoopsie. Didn't even realize that. I was constructing a harbor in that plot. No wonder. All right. Let me get this guy back over there. I want to get this fishery done. I have to know what it looks like. All right. So next turn. Let's keep an eye. Let's zoom out. See what happens around the world. Uh, Nubia has just received a foreign delegation. It appears it came from Scotland. All right, so Nubia and Scotland. That makes sense. I mean, they were the furthest points. Nubia is all the way in the east. Scotland's all the way in the west. They finally found one another and sent a delegation. Wonder what the navies are looking like right now. I'm stuck up here in the north in the land. All right, what's going on? There we go. Oh, what the hell are those? Janissary corpse? Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, the Ottomans got some, uh, they got some, I mean, moreau has got a city strength of 85. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Janissary Corps is definitely a musketman um, equivalent type unit. Hang on a second, Janissary. Now, the corpse just means uh, the same thing that uh, that I had, where you have two units combined into one. Like, I got, uh, hang on a second, this musketman corpse right there, all right? So, those are essentially the same unit. Uh, just, I, I want to see what the Janissary advantage is. Ottoman unique Renaissance era unit that replaces the Musketmen. Starts with a free promotion. Wow, okay, so they start with a free promotion. Stronger and cheaper than the Musketmen. So, stronger and uh, quicker to produce. To train a Janissary, uh, to train a Janissary, a city must have a population of at least two. If a city is founded by the Ottomans and trains a Janissary, it loses a population. Oh... So every time they, uh, it's kind of like a settler. Wow, I wonder how strong he is. Let's see. Uh, oh, game, game. Listen to me now. All right. Let me just, let me just hover. Ah! Oh my god. How do I, I, I just had it before. Okay, maybe if I go like, click on my unit. Oh my god. Click on my unit. Yeah, there you go. Janissary. So my strength is 55. Well, that's the wrong one. Hang on. Let me get my corp unit to... There you go. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't... You don't want to go down there. No. 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 You idiots. Okay. You know what? Just stop what you were doing. All right. There we go. All right. So mine is a 72. The Grim Volunteers. <laughs> All right. I forgot about that. The Grim Volunteers and the Janissary. Uh, it's because of the emergency that's giving us the boost. Ideal terrain. Yeah, they're pretty strong. My guys are strong as well. It must be because my guys have that upgrade. Yeah, they got the 2 plus upgrade, which is making them stronger. So a 2 plus upgrade with a military emergency, and we're still just as strong, you know? That's crazy. Uh, give me that courser done. Alright, so we got a musketman done. He's gonna get on his way. Uh, choose production. Calgary, we got the entertainment complex done, so we're gonna go for the arena next. Uh, you, sir... All right, hang on a second. I want to see about this fishery. All right, so let me go right there. Vancouver, I'm going to purchase this tile. All right, fishery? Yes, I can do it! One plus food provides 0.5 housing. So in a tile with one food, one gold. Woo! All right, that looks cool. I never knew. Let me see this. Oh my god, that is so cool. I've never seen that tile before. All right, good to know. So if you ever have like a, a a city that's just one island out in the ocean, you know, you want to settle something there, put Liang in there and uh, get a bunch of fisheries in the coast around it. That's really cool. Oh man, the music's kicking in. We're at war. Do 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 do. All right, you up there. There you go. You over there. All right, military engineer, build up that railroad, baby. Yeah, look at us move. Look at the move. Oh, I love it. Yes, move. All the way. And now we can reinforce any war in the east. Look at all our musketmen that we moved out there. All right, I just got to combine them and uh, go on the offense. We might even think about, uh, I mean, I can always purchase some military units so I can get that catapult. But I'd like to get the next step up. Where is the bombard? Metal casting. Yeah, so after siege tactics... You know what? I might even need... Let me go after metal casting right now. We'll worry about the coursers later. Because I, I, if I'm going to get through some of these, like... Yeah, these wall cities. And they might even build a wall in Moroi before I get there. So let's just make sure that we can get through it. 
Fortify, fortify, fortify. Uh, yes. All right, so military engineer. Uh, we're going to start you right there. All right, so we already got a road done. You're going to connect that city to there. Quebec City, where do we want to send the railroad? Straight up to Victoria. This guy, okay, hang on. Let me just think. Railroad is going to be going there to Victoria. All right, so the railroads are all going to go to Victoria. Then they're going to web out. I'm going to go one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and then like one there. Yeah, so Victoria is the main. Same with Ottawa. I'll have a bunch leading out. But with my military right now, Victoria is the one. So let's go from you straight to Victoria. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Let's just go. Yeah, right there. All right, so he's going to take his time. Uh, you guys, yeah, send you over. There you go. You, you're almost up there. Fortify, fortify. Uh, hmm. Okay, you can be, yeah. All right, so it's got to be the Toronto Maple Leafs. If we're going to fo form the very first NHL hockey rink, it's got to be in Toronto. Sorry, Montreal, I got to do it. No way, Ottawa, you ain't getting the first Le uh, NHL team. It's going to be the Toronto Maple Leafs, baby. <laughs> People are going to hate me for that decision. I don't care, though. Leafs are first. Leafs are first. All right, three more turns for that. Uh, build that farm resource right there. Right, very good. What about the uh, the Russian? No, they're good. Looks like the Swedes have defended against the Russians. Why are they hurt? Wait, you're not at war with anyone. Why is this? You know what? There might be barbarian. Oh yeah, remember all the barbarian quadrareams when we were sending our unit through there trying to avoid it? They got barbarian naval units just hitting them, and they have no navy to fight back. That sucks. Another reason why you need that navy. Oh, man, they got cavalry as well. Ooh, shit, look at those cavalry. They got Janissary cavalry units. Oh, the city bombard. Get out of there. Bologna. You've done a good job with that courser. You've given me the vision, but get that. Yeah, there you go. Retreat. Retreat. Save them. There you go. So the Ottomans, right, they may be a little bit behind in science. They got 30. You no, know, they're, they're, they're making a little bit less than us, but they're at 34 uh, um, techs uncovered and we're at 33 now i mean we're at 35 now there's a lot that we can go back and get but from my perspective it looks like they've missed out on a lot up here they probably have no navy because if they already have janissaries and cavalry and bombard i mean they've gotten uh this gunpowder metal casting and military science so they've already got some that we don't have which i know we have steam power all the time that i took to get in steam power was probably where they made their catch up but steam power is going to help us with the, with those railroads uh great engineer uh what happened to that great general by the way why did it go up so much did somebody else get the next one and now it's gonna oh my god make it 21 per turn it's gonna take a while to get Great engineer instantly builds a factory and workshop in this district. Factories provide two plus production. Yeah, that's pretty good. Two plus production. I'll get a factory going. I mean, I have all these industrial zones. Do, 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 do. I love this music, man. Da, da, da. Oh, and we almost, what are we? Oh, shit. Okay, good. We're, oh, nice. We're going to hit a golden age in seven turns also. Oh, man, the Ottomans are screwed. Do, 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 do. Do. All right, move on up. Move on up. Yeah. All right. Oh, I think this is going to give us something. I think this is going to give us error score for connecting two cities. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Railroad. A hammer drives home a golden spike. A crowd cheers for the people of Canada have completed the world's first railroad between Halifax and Boktri. Three plus error score. I love that picture. The mountains, the terrain. Ultimately, though, two cities connected. Oh, oh, so look at this. Do, 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 to the rescue. The railroad transferring my... Look at this one turn to get over a river through all those desert hill tiles and to arrive in Boktree. One turn from Halifax to Boktree. One turn. Oh, I love it. All right, railroad. Get it going. You. Uh, instantly builds a factory and workshop in this district. Now, in Ottawa, do I have an industrial zone? Oh, I need a workshop in Ottawa. Beautiful. All right, so you going to transfer to Ottawa. There you go. 
Uh, you, you're gonna get over there and build that uh, lumber mill. You guys, see how long it takes for these guys on the road? The difference, man. It's gigantic. Ottawa got the market done, so we might as well get another trader done. Just I want to max out my traders. Uh, Halifax got the musketman done. Might as well just get a few more. Uh, you, we want to get down to these roads. All right, you. We're waiting on you still. Uh, and all you guys are good. Yeah, so we got this front line. Now all I got to do is combine these guys. Uh, it looks like a lot, but really it's only like one, one, like five or six musketmen that I have here. Because I'm going to be combining them all uh, into a uh, corpse. All right, very good. How many more turns to the NHL? Two more turns to the NHL. That's going to be right there. That's going to be the uh, the Air Canada Center right there, ladies and gents, right there. Next turn. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, we fe Oh, yeah, we finished the trade route. That's good. Yeah, man. They're doing something with this military. They're marching their knights. Are they going after the, uh, the Nubians? No. They're allies with the Nubians. They have to be helping us out. What are you doing over there, Maori? The Commonwealth of Venice in the memory have this inscription. Happy is that city, which in time of peace thinks of war. Robert Burton. It's an unfortunate quote, but you know what? That's exactly what I'm doing. In times of peace, preparing for war. And now that we've gone to war, we're ready for it. Look at the Venetian arsenal. That looks sexy. A whole district just... Look like, like people are living there. They literally wake up, they go downstairs, and they start working on ships. <laughs> it's great. All right, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that wonder up there, ladies and gents. So good job, Montreal. And that will allow us now, every time we build a naval unit in Vancouver, we'll get two for the price of one. All right? And we have uh, Van Vancouver's essentially our harbor to the world. All right, so all those taken care of. Our era score is jacking up there. Uh, military engineer. All right, we're good for the military engineers now. Victoria, neighborhood time. All right, so let's get some neighborhoods going. Um, we want a plus six, so I'm gonna lose this plus three for the uh, plus three food for the marsh, but plus six is too good to pass up. All right, there you go. So that's gonna be six plus housing. It'll get us up to twenty one. Uh, we need some more amenities, but still, just having that extra housing, that's gonna be good. Um, Quebec City, same thing. We're gonna need housing. So let's get uh, another one going. Where's the best one? I could, put, I could put a five right there, but that's... You know, I'm gonna put a four, because we're already... We got some room, and I don't wanna... Yeah, I wanna use this tile right here. The desert tile's nothing. Alright, there you go. So those people will live in the desert. Alright. Uh, Montreal, we're good for housing. We're good for amenities, so we don't need a neighborhood there. Uh, we got the harbor. Uh, ancient walls. We don't need a campus. Hmm factory we just get going on some production panama canal no no i already got a harbor in there that'd be cool though uh settler i could get some military naval uh, naval units but the only thing is they're stuck in montreal i have to build them in vancouver uh you know what courser yeah let's just finish the I, I just want five extra coursers combine them all into corpse and then when they uh get the upgrade turn them into cavalry so we get the armory done in Hagmatana. Let me just get the last courser done. I think that's five right there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five coursers that I'm building. Alrighty. You're going to stay put. 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 Oh, actually, you can move. I'm going to move you there. I'm going to move you out there. Uh, move you right down there. There you go. Military engineer moving to Halifax. Get another railroad done. That'll move. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. All right. All the way in there. Uh, another military engineer. All right. So you're going to go north to Ottawa. All right. You're going to go north to Ottawa. You were going to Victoria. So I'm going to go right there. Uh, Victoria, you know, I'm going to start building this railroad from here to Calgary now. So, boom. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of guys just working on the railroad. You guys out there. It needs orders. You're going to stay put. You're going to stay put. Uh, what is this now? Aut okay, so this is a trade route. I'm going to send it. I want the science. I want to catch up. So, Uppsala. There you go. Oh, man. Was that going? No, no. That's not going through the ocean. We're okay. Um, James Watt. All right. So, we're going to get the uh, factory and workshop built. 
And factories provide 2 plus production in all cities, so I gotta start working on factories. That would be a waste not to take advantage of that. Has he only got one? He's only got one build, alright. Uh, you're gonna fortify yourself, fortify yourself, fortify yourself, fortify yourself, fortify yourself. You can take a look at the Ottomans' uh, strength. 633. Mine's at 1400, which is good. But you got to remember, a lot of my uh, military is also in crossbowmen, which are defending the cities, and these uh, five coursers. So, you know, it's the, the strength that I'm bringing. And also, he gets defensive bonuses that don't count as military strength. So let's go one more turn so we can get the, the NHL in Toronto set, baby. We're going to do it right here instead, yeah. Maybe we move down there. Next turn. All right. Uh, heavy chariot. What's this? Russia has pillaged an enemy commercial hub with a heavy chariot. Was it Sweden? You jackasses. Oh, what's going on? Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Bologna. They lost a unit. Stay out of their territory, Bologna. You're not strong enough. Just lure them into yours. I mean, that's when you can defend. You got the city barrage strength. Oh, they lost. They got three swordsmen as well. It's not enough. You're going to need some muskmen in there. Uh, the Chichen Itza has been built by, uh, China. Very good. Valletta moving their units around. Just trying to keep an eye. They still haven't gone for Kerma. Like, they've just Remember kept this bombard unit right there. Colonialism, imperialism, and war also originated in the human brain. Oh, great. Uh, alright, so colonialism. Native conquest, combat victories over units from earlier eras provide gold equal to 50% of the combat strength. That's cool. Uh, colonial taxes, 25% gold and 10% production in cities not on your original continent. Cool. Raj, 2 plus science, culture, faith, and gold from each city-state you are cesarean of. That's not bad eventually. But here's what we really got, boys. The ice hockey rink. Unlocks the builder ability to construct an ice hockey rink unique to Canada. One plus amenity. So all those cities that needed amenities. Here we go. One plus culture from each adjacent tundra, tundra hills, and uh, snow and snow hills tile. Provides tourism from culture once flight is unlocked. Two plus food and production once professional sports civic is unlocked. Four plus culture if adjacent to a stadium building. Can be built on tundra, tundra hills, snow, and snow hills. One per city, two plus appeal. Oh my god, man. Alright, renew the mission. So, uh, you get a, lot, a crap ton for putting this guy down. Alright, so I'm gonna put him right there. Ooh, six plus culture from putting it right there. Here it is, Toronto! The Toronto Maple Leafs! Yeah! Truly, this ice hockey rink represents our civilization's spirit and defines the landscape of our empire. The Canadian people have built it! There it is! The Air Canada Centre, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> oh man, it looks great. Six plus culture. Oh, that's great. Once I start work, once I start uh, focusing on it, but for right now, we can just... Uh, Still just focus on other things. Why the heck are you not working this tile? Well, they'll, they'll work it next. But there it is. <laughs> Alright, so that's some more error score. We're going to go to a golden age in five turns. Uh, Chichen Itza. Uh, buildings. Ooh, so power now. Alright, so I've got to start to power up my empire with electricity. We'll get to that later. I'm going to need a coal plant, it looks like. Uh, error score plus four. Nice. So what do we want to go for next, ladies and gentlemen? I would say we go for natural history so we can unlock the water park, which is the equivalent of the entertainment complex. Um, the difference is that you can use the water so you don't have to take up any land. Um, you guys let me know about that. All right, what we should go for next. Uh, ooh, what was that? Was that the Mountie? Hang on a second. I think I saw like a, a Mountie hat. Let's see, what is this? Mountie. Oh, light cavalry. That's an upgrade from the... Yeah. Can create a national park. Can create a national park. Five out combat strength and two tiles of the Danish. Interesting. I don't even know what a national park is. So we can go for conservation as well, which will pick up natural history. All right, so that'll work for me. Uh, we got the trader done in Canada or in Ottawa. Uh, can't get any more traders, so that's good. So how about a neighborhood? Yeah, we need housing. Uh, neighborhood. Let's go plus five. Uh... Let's go right here. Well, no, I kind of want that to be the ice hockey rink because that's a lot. Of, well, what about... No, no, I want that to be the ice hockey rink. Uh, plus four on an open tile right here. 
All right, there you go. So plus five for Ottawa once it gets constructed. Course are done here in Tarsus. We're done with our coursers. Uh, factories. We want those factories done now. Uh, you. All right, so let's send this guy over to Quebec City first. So up here. All right, railroad done. Uh, you, you're going to move over here. You, you're going to move over here. Yeah, we have our front line set now. Uh, courser. All right, you're just going to go up next to these other coursers. And then I can combine the two. Send, oh my god, look how far he's moving without even a railroad. That's great. Uh, you, you're going up to Ottawa. There you go. Railroads, ladies and gentlemen. Railroads. Oh, I love it. Looks great. And you, you're still going over here to Calgary. Uh, Ottawa, too. Let's send, uh, let's get some gold on this one. Uh, let's get the most gold that we can find. 8.7. Looks like 12.3 was the most. 13.5 for Press Lab. I'll send them there. There you go. Envoy. I have two uh, points. Um, I can't really get any of these guys as a Caesarean. The numbers are way up there. Uh, Bandar Brunei I can get as a Caesarean. Where's Bandar Brunei? Way over there. You know what? That'll allow me to see a bunch of things, though. Yeah, I'm going to go for Brand Bandar Brunei. There you go. All right, city-state. All right. Got a little bit more over here. Oh, they got a lot of land to work with, the Russians and the uh, the Scots. They could certainly bounce back in this. And Bandar Brunei has just declared war on Sullivan. Good. Where'd he go? Uh, you over there. Very nice. Unit needs orders. Construct that lumber mill. Must get in. Stay in put. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to end it right there. Next video, we're going to go liberate the city of Moroi. We have 23 turns for the military emergency. Uh, I might have to purchase a bombard in this city. Uh, yeah. So the bombard is coming in one turn. So I'll be able to produce. How long? How many niter? 20 niter. I have 43. I'm making 10 per turn. So yeah, I'll probably purchase two bombards and combine them together. And then go after the city of Moroi with uh, all these musketmen. All right, but when I combine them, there's one guy, there's two, three, four, five, six. It looks like I have six musketmen right here, uh, six corp musketmen. So anything and everything, Canada, all right? But in the meantime, strap on your skates, head on over to Toronto, and try out Canada's newest, first NHL ice hockey rink, baby. See you guys in the next one. Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Nandez. Oh my God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to shit all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First inning.